I can't wait to be a mom because this will absolutely be me. What about this one? Mutilated hydroxytone. A good rule of thumb is not to eat foods that share ingredients with jet fuel. I'm out of my fuel tablets. Teaching your kids to use logical fallacies certainly is a choice, although I'm not sure I would be proud of it. Instead, you could teach your kids how to spot logical fallacies. I'm gonna let Stephanie from Criticids explain this specific logical fallacy. This kind of post pops up often on social media. Margarine is one molecule away from plastic and shares 27 ingredients with paint. Bon appetit. If these statements are true, can you logically come to the conclusion that you shouldn't eat margarine? Let's think about it. First, we'll focus on the part that says margarine shares 27 ingredients with paint. Even if this is true, it doesn't tell us anything about how healthy margarine is. The main ingredient in soup is water. The main ingredient in window cleaner is also water. We shouldn't consume window cleaner, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't consume soup. If you say that you shouldn't eat margarine because it shares some properties with paint and you shouldn't eat paint, you are committing a logical fallacy called false equivalence. This can happen when you exaggerate similarities and ignore differences. Check out the caption for more about why this logic doesn't work. And in the next reel, I'll talk about the claim that margarine is one molecule away from plastic. Logical fallacies are used all across social media. So I personally think it's better to teach your kids to spot logical fallacies rather than teaching them to use logical fallacies. Visit Criticids page on here and Criticids.com to have your kid learn more about different logical fallacies. And hey, maybe you can learn something too.